Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! What a game! What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. Before we jump into this one, I just want to remind you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Not only do you get notified, of course, about all of our future videos, but you're entered to win a free draft booster of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, and we're going to choose that winner on February 23rd. Now, there are other ways to enter, so I do encourage you to check out the other video as well as our uh, website that lays out all the details for you, makes it really nice and easy. You can go check that out anytime you would like but let's talk about today's deck <clears throat> excuse me uh this is brought to you by j villain mtg uh i will link the 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 channel down below i encourage you to go check j villain out uh but he posted this up on aether hub i really enjoyed it so i thought i would uh test it out on on our channel uh and i really like this like i said it's it's a powerful mardu knights list so Obviously, it's very aggro centric. We top out at three. The angel fire ignition here does cost four in the graveyard, but that's really the max that we're going to need. Uh, and truth be told, we can kind of make it work pretty quickly. But four swarm paladin is here to talk through the creatures. This is going to allow us to create some treasure tokens, help ramp us into some bigger stuff, which is very, very good for us. Um, the ambitious farmhand smooths out our land drops so it just ensures that we're gonna have uh, the lands that we need to continue playing more and more stuff uh, triumphant adventure as well as the selfless paladin really helping us to venture through the dungeons so that's actually a really nice little bonus to this list is being able to do that uh, adeline resplendent cathar one of the best knights in my opinion in uh in standard right now vigilance for three mana it's an x4 x being however many creatures you control uh, so that actually can get very, very big very quickly. Uh, Desperate Farmhand, or, or Farmer, excuse me, feels a little bit fillery. Uh, it's not it's not amazing, right? It's a 3-mana 2-2 with lifelink. I mean, that's fine. But on the reverse side, it is a 4-3 with lifelink, and that 4 damage with lifelink can really get us out of some sticky situations if we need to. Uh, so I'm very excited to see that in here and just see how that goes. Uh, we do have Stalwart Slayer. This is just a nice haster that can get in in the air, uh, as well as prevent some damage and kind of buff up our own damage spells. Uh, and then Sunrise Cavalier, hopefully being able to throw away some uh, counters on some of our creatures, which will be nice. Uh, we do have Paladin class here. This is going to be helpful to kind of bolster up our own creatures and slow down the opponent a little bit if we can. Uh, Kick in the door going to help us get through the dungeon as well and throw some counters around. Play with fire to get stuff out of the way. Fateful Absence to get stuff out of the way. And then Angel Fire Ignition to really, really b just bolster up our team if we can do it. Uh, so very interesting list. Again, J Villain, thank you so much for sharing this uh, over on Aether Hub. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're going to send it through a few games, hopefully get some wins with it and see how it goes. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a pretty keepable hand. Uh, it's not a super exciting hand, but it does have some really good potential. So let's go ahead and do this. Excuse me, let's drop the Paladin here. Now again, this can drop those treasure tokens, which is very important for us because it continues the, the play pattern. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Looks like an Eye Witch from the opponent, which is perfectly fine. Uh, not anything too crazy to worry about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack first. Now that does have Menace, which is nice. I'm going to play the Triumphant Adventure. The only thing I'm worried about here really is a Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, the Meat Hook Massacre is a very, very scary card against this list because you can very easily just take everything out. Um, so we got to kind of hope we don't uh, run into that, but we will see. Uh, I do want to get the dungeon down uh, as quickly as we can, which is part of why I threw the adventure in here. Um, and we'll see how the rest of this ends up going. Okay. Paladin class, that's interesting. Okay, um... Let's do this. Um, and let's attack. We get to venture into the dungeon here. Uh, which do we want, is the question. Hmm. I 
think we'll just go this route. Uh, you could really go a, a number of different ways here, but I think that that's okay. We'll get in for a decent attack here. Uh, get him down to 14, which does feel pretty good. Uh, the Paladin class will be theoretically quite helpful, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, again, that Desperate Farmer just doesn't feel as good of a play as like a Sunrise Cavalier or a Stalwart Slayer. Now, maybe again, that's maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know, but just feels like there's better plays out there. So they're going to hit for one uh, and they've got three mana open. So I'm curious to see how they've got or what they've got going on here. There's the Meat Hook Massacre. We knew that was going to happen. So they do take two of our creatures out uh, and they get a learn. But uh, that's not the end of the world for us, I don't think. Um, again, they didn't take out the Sunrise Cavalier, which is pretty important. Um, and we've got the Stalwart Slayer here. So uh, kind of interested to see how this goes. Desperate Farmer, I guess, in hindsight, would have been kind of a nice play just because then we could have flipped it. Um, but we'll see. Um, hmm. Little stuck on mana here. I'm gonna throw out the Desperate Farmer. We're gonna give it a shot. Uh, this is more for testing <laughs> uh, than anything else, just because I'm not really sure how good this will be. Uh, but if they meet Hook Massacre for two, obviously they just take it out. Uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, but if they kill the Cavalier, then this becomes a substantial threat for them, and we can obviously gain some life out of it, out of the deal. So, uh, we'll see. Um, okay. Uh, if that's all they're doing, that is not that scary, uh, which I'm perfectly happy with. Okay. Do we continue to spread the love, or do we just throw some counters here? Um, huh. I'm gonna go this route. <clears throat> Maybe incorrect, I have no idea, but I'm gonna go for it. They're down to six, so they are facing lethal at this point. Um, and truth be told, if we draw the right lands, we could really do some work with them, but this Angel Fire Ignition really helps us out at some point here. Um, it would have been nice to get something potentially out of range of a Meat Hook Massacre, so maybe that was a slight mistake. Um, but I don't know, it looks like they don't have it, so... The nice thing is that's gonna transform this into a 4-3, uh, which is very relevant. And there we go, guys, we have got the first win! Okay, so, apparently the farmer is a little better than I thought. I'm cool with that. Uh, let's move on to game two. Alright guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and this is a very interesting hand. Um, if we get three mana, we're killing it. If we don't, it's a bit of a bad situation. We're here to risk it, guys. We're, we're definitely doing it. Uh, this is not a good keep, I would suggest. Um, truth be told, I think you should send this back, but we're gonna try. We got a couple turns, uh, and we do have a Paladin class, which is gonna help out here. Uh, we've got some of the best three drops we could ask for, so the hope is that if we just draw any land, we're good to go. Um, Play with fire is not any land, but it does mean that if they play just a random creature, we might be able to just remove it real quick. Uh, looks like that is not going to be the case. They're gonna warlock class. That's fine. Um, so my assumption is, hmm. all right. So what we can do is scry here. Um, try to try and hit a land, uh, which I think is useful. Yeah, there we go. That was actually very important, I think, for us. So let's go ahead and do the Sunrise Cavalier play. Let's get some damage rolling. Uh, chances are they're going to have some some removal spells here. I mean, there's just no way they don't. Um, but doesn't look like there's too much we need to worry about. There's the Infernal Grasp, sure. So we do lose a little bit of life in that process, but that's not that bad. Um, this is actually quite nice. So let's Nadir, or Nadar. I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Again, I'm not positive what the right play is. Uh, let's try this one, actually. Let's scry one here. Cool, we don't need a land now. We'd like to set that down. Uh, let's do this. Let's go here. 
Um, and then let's attack. And then we venture into the dungeon again. Um, uh, and I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna deal as much damage as we can, as quickly as we can. This deck is clearly setting up for something and I just don't want to uh, be worried about that. So I'm positive they've got ways to kill this, sure. Uh, but they're gonna have to spend their entire turn to do it. We lose a couple life, but that's not the end of the world for us. Um, so what we could do is just activate this and get an attack in. Uh, that's not super exciting. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go for this. This does one extra point of damage in comparison. Uh, and again, every point I think is gonna matter here. So we're definitely just trying to finish them off as quickly as we can. Now next turn, do you think the right play is obviously this, if we can? We're gonna hit for one. Looks like they are really stuck on mana here, which is fantastic for us. Oh, uh, that's better. So let's do this. Let's attack in. It's gonna gain us a couple points of life here. Now they're very, very close to dead. The only trick here is if they just have a way to kill this, we, we lose a turn here, sort of, so. Yep, looks like they've got it. Oh, they lose to the air. <laughs> they lost to their own infernal grasp. All right, cool, I'm into that. Uh, that's two wins, let's see if we can get a third. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty easy keep. We've got the adventures here that we can get down. Uh, even that's quite useful. So we'll throw this, we'll get the paladin class down. We are gonna be struggling to get the red mana most likely, um, but if we just draw a mountain or any other red source, we should be okay. All right, that's pretty scary. Um, don't love that, uh, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll drop down the adventure. Uh, chances are we might just get kind of outpowered here. This is gonna bolster up their board quite quickly, uh, which is terrifying. Uh, and so hopefully we can make our way around it, but we'll we'll see. Um, I really like this deck though. Uh, Jay Villain, thank you again so much for sharing this list. I think it's a clearly a very fun one. Uh, and I mean, we've gotten two wins so far, so pretty solid. Um, I think we definitely could have played a bit a bit cleaner in certain areas, but uh, that's okay. All right, um, making us discard a couple cards here. I think we just go for the mana efficient play and we end up playing the Desperate Farmer anyway here, so I'm okay with just throwing that out. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was thinking mana like we didn't have it for that, so I was kind of going that route, but that's okay. Uh, that has First Strike and Death Touch. I'm going to play the Desperate Farmer uh, and happily attack in here. We'll see what the opponent wants to do. Um, I like this one. We're going to go this one. We'll throw that back. Don't need another land. Um, we just need some power to throw onto the board here. This does provide us with a nice little blocker for Kalane. Kalane? I'm so bad at names, guys. If you've if you've watched it resolves at all, you know how bad I am with names. Okay, that's unfortunate, but again, not the end of the world. Um, definitely not favorable, but all right. Uh, we definitely just attack in. We venture into the dungeon. Let's get a little two-two goblin. No reason not to. We've got all the mana we need, so treasure tokens at this point are helpful, of course, but we really don't need it. Uh, the only thing it would be helpful for is obviously the Paladin class here, but I mean. All right, Goldspan Dragon is certainly scary, um, but we'll see. We've gained, we are gaining a little bit of life with this farmer. This farmer, I'm telling you, man, is actually kind of helping out. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna attack in. We venture into the dungeon. Uh, I think we put a 1-1 one -one counter on the farmer here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and kill this. Just get that out of there before they can continue the, uh, well, first of all, block, but then also continue the the 1-1 one -one counter train. Um, I don't know. 
I'm feeling kind of okay about this. We we have lethal next turn. If they just have no board effect at all, we have lethal. Uh, and they're not anywhere close to lethal at the moment. So I feel like we're in okay-ish shape. Uh, we also get to draw an extra card off of the, the adventure next turn. So assuming it sticks, uh, which it may not, but the opponent, they're copying a kill spell, perhaps? Don't love that. Looks like that is going to be the case, though. Probably, yeah. All right. That's unfortunate. Um, that does flip our farmer, though. Uh, it does hold the counter, by the way. That's how that works. Um, okay. That's unfortunate. Um, and that certainly is a problem for us. But if that's all they're doing this turn, they're attacking. Why would you attack? If you, oh, environmental sciences, I guess, yeah. If we draw a land, we can win now. Um, any land wins us the game. Uh, Paladin class is the way we do that. Maybe not, okay. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, might as well just throw that out there. Uh, do this, that's gonna throw out a 2-2 that also attacks in. Um, they're gonna obviously block the 6-5. Um, but we gain 6 in the process, so we're offsetting the Goldspan Dragon damage, like, without any issue. Uh, now they do have a Mascot Exhibition and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana to play it. They also have one unknown card. Hopefully that unknown card isn't anything too crazy, but as long as... I mean, Mascot Exhibition's good. It's not crazy, crazy good. Okay, that's solid. Um, but again, they have to be very careful here. Uh, yeah, we do this. We draw a card, that's helpful. Um, there's the land we kind of need. Uh... I'm gonna attack in. Um, they have to block the Adeline. So this kills the Goldspan Dragon. And gets him down to two. And then next turn we just have a uh, Paladin class ultimate, basically. There's the mascot exhibition. That's fine. Um, all right. Um, I think we just protect the Adeline as best we can. I don't think we have to worry too much. All right. Guys, that was really good. All right, cool. Uh, we have time for one more game. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into a game four. Let's see if we can go undefeated with this. Oh, also we ranked up. Hey, yo, look at us go. All right, let's see. All right, guys, here we are. This is probably going to be our last game. Um, but do we keep this hand is the question. I think we do. Uh, now, this is going to be interesting because we've got some decisions to make right off the bat, uh, which is a little interesting, but let's actually go for the Paladin play. Uh, the reason I like this play, uh, if we get the opportunity, we can create a treasure token, which just helps our mana very, very easily. Um, do we block this? I think not. Okay, uh, that also helps. Uh, let's go... This is probably a Meat Hook Massacre deck, is it not? Um, probably. Let's attack in first. I'm still gonna go this route. Not confident with it, but we're gonna go this route. The Paladin class may have been a better option. <laughs> if they have a Black Source, they just get to um, Meat Hook Massacre, clear the board, get a good setup. Uh, but next turn, I suppose we do have the Farmer. Or the Paladin class, or yeah, I think it's just the farmer, but oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, sure. Hmm. I think we go this route. I think we do attack with both here, uh, fully expecting that, you know, something's gonna die. <laughs> Uh, and again, I'm gonna actually stick with the Lost Mine. Ooh, yeah, we definitely keep Adeline. We've got the land of player, so that just seems like the right call. 
Uh, this, I mean, as we saw in the last game, Adeline just can take over a game uh, super, super efficiently. So the trick here is if they do kill something, which they're welcome to do, uh, the Desperate Farmer is going to flip, which is going to be much more difficult for them to deal with. Uh, now, obviously, they get a 2-2 in this process, but we get a 4-3 Lifelinker, which seems pretty useful here. Uh, that they also can't just meet hook massacre off the board. Um, oh, oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty solid. Um, we do this. I think we do this. Um. Ooh, I like all of these, but yeah, I think we just go Goblin. We want to bolster our board, I think, as best we can here. Um, I think we actually attack with this as well. Um, the reason being, if they want to block this, they have to double block it. So we'd be able to kill the Headless Rider. All right, we gained five, which is useful. Uh, the reason I threw the counter here is so that we could get uh, an attack in with it because we want to get that lifelink underway here. Now, they're going to get quite a number of zombies here, which is not good. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, fair enough. They decided not to. Uh, now, these do have death touch, which is terrifying for us. Um, this necro duality is very, very good. Uh, and this is why. They can really do some damage uh, with this. All right. Hmm. So we definitely play land. We definitely play the Paladin class. Um, all right, what do we do here? Uh, So we can just attack in for a good bit. Um, we can play this, or we could activate this, or we could activate this. All of those are good options. Um, we're gonna have to fight through these at some point, are we not? Yeah. Uh, I think the play is gonna be here. We need to get this up to double strike range, in my opinion. Um, if we don't, I think we're going to be in very bad shape. So I'm attacking in. This is not a safe play at all because they've got the two death touchers. But I think we just have to. Um, if we don't, I think we're going to be in really bad shape. In fact, they've got more than two death touchers. All of their blockers are essentially death touchers. Um, but got to do what we got to do. Uh, they can take six here if they'd like. Looks like they're not willing to. Okay. So we're taking out three of their things, but they're gonna get a bunch of tokens in the response. Um, oh, only two, excuse me. I was thinking, oh, if it's a non-token, duh. Okay. Ugh. It didn't do it though. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, hmm. Another tainted adversary. Goodness gracious. Okay, uh, what do we even have that can deal with this? Uh, probably not much. I think we do this. I think we do this. Hmm. Doesn't really matter which one we kill first. They both die. It's freebie block, but they do get... Um, oh, it's when it dies, not when it comes into play, of course. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh, man. So the reason I did this is um, we needed to get... Whew, we needed to get the damage in. Uh, or excuse me, get this up to level three so we could really go crazy next turn. That was 
Two man or two damage too close though. That was very very scary. Okay. I mean, we are just dead here, uh, unfortunately. There's not much we could do. This does have double strike, though, so. <clears throat> I mean, we go for this one. Uh, double strike. Can they? I'm not mathing correctly right now, so I'm very concerned with how this might go. But I think that's the right play. I have to double block this. That's the trick. Um, again, doesn't really matter how we do this. Those all die in one shot. Do we do it? It has trample. So it still gets another five points plus the two. Did we do it? Guys, I think we might have done it. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a game! Oh, that was that was incredible. That's an undefeated run. Guys, all right, let's chat about this. All right, so that accidental uh, win in that last game was pretty amazing. Um, we did it. We went undefeated with this list. Uh, J Villain, thank you again so much for sharing this one. If you are looking for a Mardu Knights list, I do highly recommend this one. I also recommend you going to check out J Villain. Uh, again, really appreciate the sharing here, but. That is awesome. That was a really, really fun set of games. So I, I, I love it. Fantastic. Great deck. Try it. Have fun with it. It's very aggro centric. It's perfect. Um, that was really fun. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we won that last game. I did not think we were going to. Uh, wow. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you can enter to win that free Kamigawa Neon Dynasty booster box, as well as just hang out with us and get notified for all the new videos and whatnot. But guys, I really appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.